know what I'm saying? But I wasn't, I'm going to make another video. There, the, the video that you just saw, that was a second video. I made, I made a first video. Uh, I put, I, I ran it on my phone, uh, and then I deleted it so I could have room, but I just deleted some videos to make this video. Um, I'm making another video at the risk of looking, um, uh, you know, when people talk a lot, they, they start to look less powerful. Um, but the reason I'm doing that is because Robert, we're trying to get we me and Robert are trying to make people not be so controlled by appearances. If you go back in time and you look at interviews of Robert, he, sometimes he'll say that he thinks that, that the next most powerful person, uh, is, is going to be somebody that does not follow the 48 laws of power in the sense that in the sense of, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the world being controlled by appearances. Of course, you become a better father and a son if you follow the laws. But there's so many people that read the book. And then, you know what I'm saying? Then they go out and they try to create a narrative about themselves. And they try to get elected president with a narrative. A narrative is like a storyline. You know what I'm saying? Your history. Robert, if you go back in time and look at some of Robert Greene's interviews, he says that he, the, you, we need presidents who have effective, that are going to have be effective. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't, inspiration is one thing, you know what I'm saying? But when that leader's dead, you know what I'm saying? Are, who's going to, we're going to keep going on storylines, keep inspiring people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But like effect, the, 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 the energy comes from the top. So the argument isn't that you can inspire the nation with your story. It's that is if you're an effective president and the energy comes from the top, you have effective people working on the ground. You have better quality products being created, manufactured, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I wanted to say, you know what I'm saying? Because I know the biggest thing that is stopping y'all from making this money is the fear of being tricked. Okay. Uh, I was thinking about that this morning uh, because it's been on my mind this entire time. But the reason I haven't said anything about that. I haven't really been putting that in my videos is like putting it out there. It's been on my head in the back of my mind, top of my head the entire time. If y'all give me a hundred bucks, you risk giving a hundred dollars to somebody who's just going to fall off. Uh, the other option is you can make a million bucks. I remember saying the thing about, um, point care, or I don't know if his name was point care, but the, uh, I forget his name, but the guy who I remember talking about, if you, you have, you, you can g gamble a hundred bucks and you risk making a million. Um, but everyone's so afraid of giving a hundred dollars to someone who's going to fall off, or they're so afraid of giving me a hundred bucks and then me making a video and putting their name out there. I, I got you for a hundred bucks. That is precisely what is stopping y'all right now. Cause I know y'all hear it in my voice. I know y'all see it in my eyes. You see what I'm saying? And I know y'all are starting to believe that Robert Greene is one hell of a trickster. You see what I'm saying? And in the same way that y'all was just hearing me uh, mistell my story about the um, the kid running away, I couldn't remember if he got pet by his cat. I can't remember if that was the time he reached enlightenment when he ran away. That is what I'm talking about. Is you you try to remember things and you can't remember them correctly. It is impossible to lie the way that I am lying right now. It's impossible. Try to get Robert to talk to you the way that I'm talking to you. Try to do it. It's going to be impossible. He's not going to be able to. He's going to, you're going to be too insecure. He's going to, he's going to try to play on your insecurities. You know what I'm saying? You're going to start feeling like a fear in your stomach and you're going to start feeling like you don't want to. He always does this at the golden nugget, dude. And it makes me sound crazy. And the only thing it's doing is keeping y'all from making a million bucks. I mean, so, but it pisses me off because I'm trying to get my point across. I'm trying to get the truth out. You know what I'm saying? And it, I just get pissed off because it, whenever you reach for something and somebody pulls it away from you, you get mad. So like if somebody takes your hat and they won't give you your hat back, if they, if they're, you, you can't get in the, uh, the car and they pull off and he's copying me right now with the, um, forklift reverse noise. I don't know if y'all can hear that reverse noise, but, but so I'm trying to, it, so that's why I keep whatever. It doesn't matter, but it's just keeping y'all broke. So I don't know why y'all are laughing at me because I'm stuttering right now. Uh, if y'all are, you know what I'm saying? But I can't even remember what I was saying, man. Um, but in the same way that I, you have, I, that you can't, I have trouble. I had trouble remembering that story because you're trying to get each detail right. It is impossible to lie like that. If you go up to Robert and you try to get him to talk to you the way that I'm talking to you right now, what's going to happen is you're going to start feeling like you can't talk to him right now. You're going to start feeling like you're having a bad day. And what happened was 
he posted he secretly had something in the environment and he had he put he put it there before you went up and started talking to him and he's he's gonna he's gonna make you unable to confront him to get you to, to get him to get so you're unable to to ask him to talk to you the way that I'm talking to you. It is impossible to lie like this. The only thing that is, and I it, the, I know y'all's gut instinct is hearing my voice tones and seeing my eyes. You can see my pupils dilating and undi constricting in my last video. But the only thing that is stopping y'all from coming down here is, isn't so much Robert, because I know y'all know he's one goddamn trickster. It's the fact that y'all refuse to be the person who has your name blasted by Taylor on a YouTube video saying I tricked you. And I, I have never, I've been trying to, but if you would just follow your gut instinct, follow my voice tone, follow my pupils and my eyes, you would just make a million dollars. You see what I'm saying? Quote unquote, you would be getting an innocent person out of prison. You would be helping someone being followed by the FBI. You see what I'm saying? Like quit worried about being tricked. You know what I'm saying? What if he's wrong about being followed by the FBI? I just wasted my time. What if he's not innocent? I just wasted my time. We refuse to be fools. I don't know why that's such a strong emotion. God damn it, he's copying me again. Y'all can think that bridge hoard is timed if y'all want to. You're an idiot. I'm, I'm not speaking to anybody who's not thinking that. Um, God damn it. He's making me look crazy again. I'm trying to make y'all make a million bucks. And when it's said and done... But let me, let, let, let me just change the subject since he's made, he's fucking me up right now. Uh, but yeah, because this is another big problem, your guilt. You know what I'm saying? I remember once I was walking through a church. I was bouncing my ball. He did this when I was bouncing my ball. So I'm not sure how much chances there was of it me knocking all my teeth out. But I went to a church on a Wednesday. Um, I was bouncing a ball the whole way there. I haven't been bouncing my ball recently, so I don't know how fast my reflexes are right now. But... I went, I, I was talking to this couple and I went to leave this. And what happened was he made me strap like a belt around my, around my hips and my ankle. Uh, and it was just, it looked cool. I thought it looked cool and it had like a hoop, but you could trip on it. Nobody told me though. Um, but so like he seduced me into putting it on out of my vanity. I wanted to look cool. And so I walked through this church. Um, God damn it. Just trying to make y'all make a million bucks. Hope y'all ain't laughing at me. You're going to, whatever. I'm not going to call you a fool, man. I don't want to make fun of you for not making a million bucks. But, but so I have this uh, belt. I, I put this belt on it. It made me feel vain. It made me feel cool. And uh, I'm walking through this church uh, on a Wednesday. Um, and it was a way that I had never walked through before. And somehow or another, they called me back. I, I went to walk away from him and they called me back or I remembered I had to tell him something. And it was in the process of turning around and walking back away that my ankle got caught in this fucking thing. And so how he was, how he planned that to happen, I have no idea, but I went to fall and I swear to God, there was this wooden corner, um, that I could have tripped and fell and knocked all my fucking teeth out. It, it looked like it was going to hit me right in the mouth. If it didn't, it would have fucked my cheekbone up or it would have just fucked me up bad. Uh, but he, he did that when I was bouncing a ball and you know what I'm saying? When you're bouncing a ball, your reflexes are real cool. And that probably scared me. That probably made me more scared, scared of Robert than almost him faking my dad's death and me almost knocking my teeth out in that instant, uh, made me fear Robert almost more than anything. But that was because I had, I think that was because I accidentally broken somebody's jaw um, and if I had been blinking or if I had something in my tooth when that happened, I could have missed my reflex and it would have hit my, and knocked all my teeth out. But like I said, I never meant to break Jimmy's jaw. Um, so he's been always, every time he's been putting me in these situations, there's always a chance I could get fucked up and I keep getting lucky. There was another chance a dog could have knocked my tooth out. I was at my friend's house, um, and they did the same thing, played on my vanity to play with a dog. The dog jumped up. I don't know if he was, if they put... If, if Robert Green captured my breath in a jar, but for some reason it was like this dog was honed into my mouth and he jumped straight up in my fucking mouth and I got lucky. Now, so I just got that little chip right there. He didn't knock my tooth out, but you could feel that like it, they got those big canines. If that big canine would have hit that tooth right there, it'd be gone. Literally. That's what it, if he jumped up hard as fuck. I don't know how. I think he just nicked it. Just got lucky again. 
Uh, so I've been being punished for breaking Jimmy's jaw. Um, but what I was saying was, I forget what I was saying with that, but, oh, what I was saying though was get, uh, get, um, you, uh, Benjamin Franklin, this is something else he told me with about Benjamin Franklin. This was written in mastery, but he was talking about it in an interview when me and Robert first met in mastery. There's a guy that Benjamin Franklin couldn't get to like him. He was like a rogue. He just had an idealization about Benjamin Franklin. And we all know Benjamin Franklin being a good guy. So why this guy didn't like Benjamin Franklin when everything's said and done, he was like the only person that didn't like Benjamin Franklin. And he looked like a fool in the end because Benjamin Franklin was a nice guy. Uh, But for some reason or another, he thought Benjamin Franklin was a sissy. He thought Benjamin Franklin was something. Um, And he, uh, Benjamin Franklin couldn't get this guy to like him. And so what Benjamin Franklin did is was he asked this guy, he knew he had a rare book collection. So he asked this guy to borrow one of his rare books and he lent Benjamin Franklin his book. Uh, and ever since then they were friends. Um, and so, so you have to get rid of the idea that you can't judge people by their actions. So like, if you have an idealization about me, whatever, you can come up to me, give me a hundred bucks. And because I know we, me and Robert know there's a secret. We're controlled by appearances. That's how we've been philosophizing the appearances of death, the appearances. I, I'm still reacting to the appearances that Robert Greene could let me go it, in. The, it's just like, it's like a dream, uh, like a mirage that passes your head. Like when you're, you're sitting back, cooling it and your eyes roll back in your head. And then I come back too. And I'm like, he's not fucking leaving me, but that's how you're controlled by appearances.